Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, this video is a little different. I feel like I have a lot to say and I kind of want to get everything off my chest. Um, and I think this video is going to be kind of just like a sit down chat. Um, I'm going to try to get through this without editing as much as I can. Obviously my kids are home and they're in the next room. They're actually having a little bit of tablet time because they just woke up from their naps. But anyways, I want to talk about something big that just kind of happened in my life. Um, it's kind of life changing, I guess. Um, or a big life change that's happening. Maybe that's better. Um, so I had a job interview the other day. Um, and I kind of talked about it a little bit on Instagram. I was like, go oh, have an interview. Um, so I kind of want to talk about it. So, um, I've been laid off since May of 2021. Um, I worked my last job. I worked at my last job for almost four years. I was like two months shy of, four, of hitting four years. And, you know, I had a lot of ups and downs with that job. Um, when I worked for my boss, you know, there were some good things or good times. There were some bad times. Um, there was a lot of times I doubted it. Um, and it was more so I just felt uncomfortable in the position. I felt like my boss was going to like fire me sometimes because of like when I had someone I was pregnant or had some like schedule changes. But in reality, my boss was amazing and he really accommodated every obstacle course I went through in life while I was working under him, he just took it and went with it. Whenever I had a schedule change, he took it and went with it when I had my babies. Um, I was full-time to part-time and he just, he was really accommodating and I'm truly thankful that I was able to have him as boss. Um, you know, the job was very stressful at times and sometimes the job, I did things I didn't like it. Um, but in reality, it was a great job. I learned a lot. I really appreciated that job. Um, but he ended up like not working for the company anymore and the company itself ended up hiring me on, which I was really thankful for because I was like, oh my God, I don't have a job now. Um, and they, they hired me on and I ended up working for them probably November, probably well, about six months. I worked for them um, and it was all remote. And that's a big thing that my boss was always accommodating with me working remote eventually. And my new job, same thing. They knew I was remote. They kind of just took it and went with it. I think they kind of like still kept it because the pandemic was still going on. But then also they were doing a lot of changes with obviously everything happening. Um, so they kept me on for six months. And then um, I ended up moving and I was gone. Um, I left in May. No, sorry. I left in March and they left me go in May. Um, and when they let me go, they said it was nothing personal. It was just they were doing changes within the company, yada, yada, remote, just wasn't going to work for them. And I took it and I, like, I was really sad about it because, you know, I really, like, the job was very stressful. And honestly, I wanted to leave and I was wanting to leave for a while, but I felt guilty with the fact of leaving my job and leaving my husband to be the only sole provider. Um, so I was really hesitant on leaving my job. I really wanted to like keep it because I wanted to, you know, have that income and be able to still say, Hey, yeah, I'm supporting this family too. And it was great. And that's why I never ended up actually ever quitting that job, even though I've talked about it plenty of times. Um, and that job made me cry. That job put a lot of stress mentally on me. Um, and I feel like personally, that job caused a lot of like stress and anxiety in me. Um, but then they ended up letting me go. And I was like, oh my God, like I kind of felt like a weight lifted off my shoulders. Like maybe this is what's meant to be. Maybe God willing, like God was telling me like, hey, this is too much for you. Let me help you. And it was kind of his way of like helping me. Um, and that's kind of like what I thought at first. Um, that's kind of what I thought. So I had like a cough attack. Um, but that's kind of like what I thought. So I was like, maybe, you know, this is a sign. So Cameron's like, you know what, just, just let it be. Like, just enjoy your time. My best friend was coming to visit, like, I think the week after. And he's like, and then after that, why don't you start looking? And for me, I thought that was him saying, like, you need to be working. Um, so take some time and enjoy it with your best friend when she comes to visit. But then you can start looking for jobs. And then so in the back of my head, I've always thought, like, I need to work. Um, 
and I can't be a stay-at-home mom, even though since I've had my first son, I wanted to stay home, and that was a big thing for me. I wanted to be the one taking care of my kids, but I also wanted to be the one working. And sometimes you can't have the best best of both worlds and when I was able to work from home I was able to do that because I was able to still take care of my kids while I was working but it put a lot of stress on me because let's be real when you have kids they're a full-time job and you've got to like pay them attention you have to pay attention to them you have to feed them you have to play with them you can't just put a tablet in front of them all the time and just think that they're gonna like grow to be great people I mean I'm sure maybe some people but like in reality like you need to be able to interact with them and love on them and play with them and you know sometimes kids just want to be held and um it's hard to work from home and take care of your babies and take care of your house and cook dinner and clean and do laundry it's a lot to do everything while you're sitting at home because then you start to feel like you're drowning because you're doing too much there's too much on your plate and when you work from home you never stop working from at least when you go to the office you're in the office you leave work at home you come home your mom you're a housewife whatever whatever um, but when you work from home you have to do everything and it's just a lot so um, I thought you know leaving my job I thought it was gonna be fixed or whatever but I wanted to be I wanted to be a stay-at-home mom so um, I thought working from home was great but um, when I finally was able to be just a stay-at-home mom, I was like, wow, this is this is great. And I was loving it at first. Um, you know, I was like, so just go shopping and I was cleaning and I was like on a routine and I felt great. And then, um, you know, a little bit longer kind of went by and I just didn't apply for anything. And then me and Cam kind of talked about me applying and I was kind of just like, yeah. And then, um, then I'm kind of getting, you know, where I'm like, we started landing up for school. And it was tough because we put Landon in school because he was ready and we thought he was ready to like us like just play with other kids and like be around other kids and get him used to that. Kids and like hanging out with kids and you know, but his school's expensive. He does go to a private preschool, so it's money that, you know, we are now dishing out extra. Um, so it's hard because I'm not working. Me and Cameron kept talking about it and I was like, you know, I gotta start applying for jobs, I gotta start applying for jobs. And in the back of my head I keep thinking like I know I need to apply for jobs. I know I need to be working, but I don't want to. And then I start to feel guilty for myself because I'm like, how selfish am I that I don't want to work? And I talked to my mom about it and I'm like, I don't, I've talked to like my mom, my best friend about it. I've talked to Karen about it. And I was like, I know it sounds really selfish, but I don't want to work. And I'm not saying I don't want to work because like I want to be lazy and at home. Like, I don't want to work because I want to be home with my kids. And it's just kind of like hard with, when the kids are so young, it's so hard with their schedules because literally by the time like you drop the kid off at school and then you come home and then it's like you can only do something for a little bit and then you gotta go and pick them up again. And it's, it's just a lot and you know, it's just hard. So I kept saying, I'm like, I just don't understand how people make it work or like, you know, there's days that Cameron just like has to work and he can't be home or there's things too like when you have to pick them up from school early or if they're sick they can't go to school and I just don't understand how some people make it work I mean in reality we don't really have family we just have me and Cameron my mom is here a little bit but she works full-time so she can't help me out a lot and I never fully understood why people are stay-at-home moms sometimes even though I wanted to be one right like I just want to like be home go shopping do whatever I want but then it really makes you realize why people are stay-at-home moms is because first of all daycare is expensive school like daycare is expensive sitters are expensive finding a nanny is expensive um it's just hard and I know a lot of schedules are hard but being a military we should never know and Cameron's schedule Cameron doesn't work on Monday through Friday he works a random schedule and it's always subject to change um so it's just, it's really hard. And then he works 12 hour shifts. He doesn't work like a normal, like nine to five. Like that's just not what it is. Um, he literally goes into work at four in the morning and we don't see him till 7.30. Sometimes later something happens at night. So it's really, really hard to balance that all out because at the end of the day, the kids have to depend on me. And it's hard to work 
some kind of job and then drop them off, pick them up, and still come home clean because it still relies on me. We can't rely on Cameron or my husband for anything um, because we don't know. Sometimes he's off. He has his days off, and he gets called into work because something happens, and he has to drop everything and go. And when something like that happens, what happens? It's me. It's my responsibility for those kids. Um, and that's just that's just what it is. And so that's why we've kind of decided, like, you know, like, being a stay-at-home mom, like, that may be something that I have to do. Anyways, and so kind of fast-forwarding the rest of the year, I kind of was, like, I was kind of looking. I was kind of looking. Cameron was showing me some, like, at-home jobs, like, remote jobs. And I was, like, I just don't know. I don't like it. I don't want that. I don't like that. I don't want that. And he was, like, you know what? Don't even focus on it anymore. The month of December was just a lot. And then it was my birthday, Asher's birthday, and then my mother-in-law came, and then it was Christmas. And we're, like, he's, like, just, just think about it in the beginning of the year. Don't even, like, look about jobs anymore. Beginning of the year. I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. So beginning of the year rolls up and I'm sitting there and we've talked about me working again and I started looking for jobs and I'm sitting on the computer and I'm looking and I'm looking and I found this one job and I was like, hmm, that seems like something I could do. It said part-time, but it's here in New Mexico and I was like, let me just apply. Who knows? Maybe they'll be willing to work with me. Maybe I could do only two days in the office or one day in the office. And so I applied. And when I applied, literally within like 15 minutes, this person calls me. And I was like, oh my God, like they're calling me already. And I ended up missing it because I was kind of like, Ugh. but then I ended up calling them back. And basically she wanted to talk and she was like, are you available at 3 p.m. to have like a phone interview? And I was like, yep, I'm, I'm available, like that's fine. And I was super giddy. I was like, oh my gosh, she wants to call me back. Like she wants to have a phone interview. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then so the phone interview came and she loved me so much on the phone and she's like, you're exactly what we're looking for. I would really love to meet you in person and kind of do a further interview, show the office, etc. And I was like, it sounds amazing. She's like, can you do it tomorrow at 9? And I was like, well, yeah, of course, like I can do it tomorrow at 9. Thankfully, Cameron had the next day off, so I didn't even have to think twice about that. But I was just like, oh my God, like I have to do an interview. I haven't interviewed in over four years. Um, I was so nervous. And, you know, I asked you guys on Instagram about like outfits and shoes and you guys are great. And I was super excited to go to my interview. I was really, really nervous. Uh, it's like 30 minutes away from me. So I drove 30 minutes to go there and I was so nervous, but they wanted to offer me a little bit less than I was willing to take. I pitched $2 more. She was like, you know what? I think you're worth it. I'm willing to give you like the money that you want. And I was really excited because I was like, oh my God, like this is basically what I was making at my last job. Like it's basically the same position. It's a transaction coordinator for a real uh, realtor. Um, and I was really excited and I was like, this is it. And then she told me, she's like, I need you in office. And I was like, and then I was like, well, I can try to make three days a week work. And she was like, and I kind of told her the schedule. It would be different each week because my husband, my husband, I kind of fall off of his schedule. And my lighting is not working very well right now. And I'm so sorry. My lighting's really shitty. Um, but she's like, this is probably the craziest schedule anyone has ever given me before. And she's like, but well, I like you so much and I really love your resume and I really think you're great for this position that I'm willing to make it work and willing to accommodate your schedule. And I was just like, great. And basically got the job. So um, I was super excited, you know, I was so excited when I left and I called my mom first thing. Like I didn't even call my husband, I called my mom. My husband actually ended up being at my mom's house, but I ended up calling my mom and I was just like, so excited, but then like, I was also really, really nervous. I was like, I don't think I can make this work. It was really heavy on my heart. I called my best friends and I was really excited and it felt really good to crush my interview. To be wanted, to have someone who wanted me and I just couldn't help but feel guilty. I kept feeling guilty and I was like, I just don't think this is gonna work. And what it comes down to is I'm not going to take the position. And I think I'm going to just focus on being a stay-at-home mom for a little bit longer. Um, you know, we want another baby eventually. Um, God willing, by next year, we would like to have another baby. 
Um, and it's just kind of, it's a lot. And, you know, me and Cameron have been back and forth on it, back and forth on it. And he's always said, I thought you wanted to work. So that's why I've always encouraged you. He's like, but if you want to be home, it's better for the kids. So he's right. And, you know, my kids are still really little and, you know, there's always time for, I'm going to cry. There's always time for a career. I'm 27. So for me, I've always been like, I want that career. I want that money. I want to give my family a great life. I want to travel. I have many years ahead of me to focus on a career. Um, so I'm not going to be pursuing a career right now. And I think I'm just going to be focusing on just being at home with my kids, trying to be the best version of myself for my kids because this is the time that they're going to remember. They're going to remember if mom was around, if mom was stressed, if mom was sad. And I haven't been the best version of myself and I've been very sad the past year. Um, and I've dealt with a lot of stress and anxiety and depression the last year. And I don't think it'll ever get better for me or for them if I throw myself into another position. That's not going to work. Um, this position, me and dad would be working opposite schedules, so they will only ever have one parent home. Um, we will never have family time. We wouldn't have a day together. We would probably have every other Sunday. That's how the schedule would have ended up working if I was working in the office off his off days. Um, we would have had every other Sunday off together, and that was it. And I know my relationship. I know my marriage. It wouldn't work. That's not going to work for us. I know a lot of people, they have no choice but to do it. Uh, for us, we are lucky enough that I am able to stay home and we are able to financially afford for me to just stay home right now. Um, you know, we have to budget a little bit. So be it. Um, we'll be able to go on a vacation? Probably not. Um, we would have to just save each check a little bit more to be able to do that in the long run. Um, our goal is to take them to Disney eventually, so that is something that we're working on. Um, but... It may not be something that we'd be able to do sooner if I was working. Um, but that's okay. I'd rather be able to do things with our kids on daddy's day off and like go to the zoo together, go to the park, or we're actually taking them to a dino exhibit in two weeks that if I took this job, I wouldn't be able to go. And I already bought my ticket. Um, so it's kind of those things. So it's kind of like, you know, my mom kept telling me, cause she, I was really crying about this position. I was like, I really want it. I truly, really want it just to show that like, I can do it and I can be a provider too and it just weighed really heavy on my heart that it's just not the right time and you know I talked to Cameron too and I was like what should I do and he was just like it's your decision he was like I thought you wanted to work he's like so I was trying to like encourage you and he's like we can make this work if you want to give it a try but he knew too that this wasn't going to work um, and he was really pushing me working a remote job like just working at home but like I explained, it's just really hard working from home when you have two kids. Bless everyone who works from home with children. It's just hard to balance the two. Um, my kids are really rambunctious and they are very loud and they are very physical with each other. Um, so you gotta keep eyes on them at all times. Like right now, my little one's right here sitting on the floor eating some dried mangoes and my other one's in the, in the living room. Um, it's just really hard. So they're also two and four, or about to be four, but they're really close in age right now, so they're a little, like, more crazy. They they were better when they were a little bit younger. The older that they're getting, the crazier that they're getting because my youngest is, like, pushing his buttons. But, yeah, so that's the whole spiel. I know a lot of you guys are wondering because I posted, like, got the job, not sure if I'm going to take it. This is the answer. I am not going to take it. I am focusing on being home. I'm going to focus on being a stay-at-home mom until the near future. Um... I don't know. I would really love to open up my own business and work from home, but I don't know. Um, I really, really, really a while ago, years ago, wanted to open up a boutique, but it seems like now this is the norm and everybody has a boutique now. So I'm like, mm, I don't, mm, I don't, I don't think that's going to work, <laughs> but it, who knows, who knows what the future holds. Um, I'm going to continue on YouTube. I'm going to continue on my social media platforms. Maybe try a little bit harder. Who knows? Because two years ago, Asher, you are chewing really loud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, two years ago, I was actually doing really well on Instagram. And I was actually making a decent amount of money. When I say decent, like, I'm not talking, like, 
thousands of dollars a month but I made an okay amount of money between product exchange gift cards money from um, companies and stuff so I made my money and I did it great and then I kind of slacked off and then the last year has just been kind of crazy I've done a few sponsorships here and there um, but the problem is a lot of companies, they just want to do product exchange. And that's just kind of like, it's not going to pay my bills, you know? Um, so, I don't know. I may get back into, like, social media. I thought about deleting it. But I love it. And I, like, love YouTube. I love connecting with people. I've been lucky enough to connect with so many amazing women throughout all my platforms the past couple of years. And I just feel really special. And I feel connected. And it makes me feel good. So, this is the year that we are focusing on... Us. We are focusing on mental health, physical health with going to the gym, um, emotional health. I plan on going to a therapist soon to kind of just like balance it out and, you know, talk to somebody because sometimes I just have a lot bottled up and I'm a very emotional person. I'm an empath, empath, right? Yeah. And I'm very emotional and I bottle things up and then I can get very angry. Um, I I'm very depressed. I have some depression issues um, that I've had throughout the years, but I've just seen it getting worse. Um, and, you know, not everyone's perfect. And I am very, I'm like proud. I am very honest. Yeah, I'm very open and honest about the issues that I have. And that's why I feel like, you know, my platform is great because I'm able to connect with so many women that are going through the same thing that maybe they're just being silent about it and they just don't know how to get the help. I want to be able to help you just like you guys have been able to help me. So with that being said, um, that's the plan for the rest of the year. So, or for the first, so yeah, that's the plan for the foreseeable future. I'm just going to be focusing on staying at home. Um, and that's just what it is. And I feel like at the end of the day, I'm going to feel really great about it. Um, I think it's going to make me feel good. It's going to make my kids happy. It's going to make my husband happy. Um, I'm hoping that it helps our family out. I'm hoping me not stressing about I need to find a job is going to make me feel a little bit better and more at ease with my decision because I'm still kind of like, is this the right decision? But I think it truly is. I think this is just what it needs to be for now. Um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this little video. If you guys can relate at all, please comment below. Talk to me. Message me on Instagram. I know a lot of you guys do that. I really hope to connect with you guys. I know a lot of you guys message me on Instagram um, instead of commenting because you guys want to be more private about it and I'm totally fine with that. Message me. Talk to me. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you respect my decision. Please don't be mean about it. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.